the stormy crossing where Jesus and the disciples are in this little boat crossing the Sea of Galilee and a sudden storm came up as it often does on that lake and Jesus was asleep. He was sleeping through this whole storm where all the disciples are panicking and they're bailing water and, and finally they wake up Jesus and say, Lord, we're in deep trouble here. And Jesus basically said, why did you bother waking me up? I was having a wonderful nap. Don't you know who the captain of this ship is? Why did you doubt? And of course, instantly the storm silenced, the sea became calm, and they reached their destination on the other side. So it's like that when you cultivate this relationship with the source amidst all this chaos, you're constantly aware of who the captain of this ship is on this stormy sea. And you know that reaching your destination, your peaceful, safe harbor, it's a done deal. It's guaranteed. You're there already. So why waste the energy? Why stress out? You become a natural man a natural woman, this connection, this channeling, this partnership, this union. This is what I have been wanting to experience all my life is this natural being. I'm a natural man, you're a natural woman. Let's just be ourselves, our natural selves with each other and trust the captain to take this ship safely to the other shore. It's a struggle doing it the other way, trying to micromanage every detail. And along with the spontaneity comes more willingness to take risks. You know you've got a partner who's got your back. I know I'll never make a fool of myself with my partner. In fact, the more risks I take and the more spontaneously I live and trust this process rather than constantly focusing, oh, what will be the outcome if I do this? What will be the outcome if I do this? And just letting go and joyously releasing into the experience the more that source is going to feed me 